Hi guys, welcome to our first podcast. Well, it's a maybe a podcast or I don't know, a webinar. I don't know what else you can call it. But we are planning to do some episodes regarding various fishing techniques or modern uh, electronics or something like that. So today is the first time we will talk about the Carolina, Carolina rig. I'll probably have to say it a lot of times today. So I'll try it again. We Carolina rig. You could say uh, the sea rig. It's easier C-Rig? to uh, Oh, sea rig. Yeah, yeah that's not a problem. <laughs> okay, so uh, with me I have uh, Dieter de Blauwe. He's pro staff for uh, Rapala 30 Fishing. Um, so Carolina rig. Dieter, tell me, why is it so interesting and why do we mainly fish it now? We fish it now because it's uh, a great presentation to fish lethargic fish. The, uh, the best way we can approach them in the winter time is by fishing very slowly and on the bottom, in my opinion. Uh, here I have uh, an example of a rig. Oh, we'll go over the rig uh, later, uh, Dieter. All right. So what in the end we want to have is a, a big, big perch on our measuring board, like I have here. This one uh, we caught last time. Of course, we always get them. swim again. Bye bye, my friend. <laughs> so let's start with the rod. What type of rod would you mainly use? Uh, I always use a 240 rod, spinning rod. It's easier to handle the fish. It's easier to fish uh, the rig. And I want a parabolic action and I want a sensitive tip. So not uh, the super fast uh, no. broomstick kind of rod. No, 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 not, uh, in, not in any way so like that. So totally not like a, a jigging rod for Xander example. No, no, you want uh, the a parabolic so- softer, action. softer bend. So when you get the, f- like you fish the rig, you get a bite, you feel the little nibble, you wait a few seconds and then you just load up on the fish. And when you fish uh, a Carolina rig, we uh, use an offset hook, a big hook, sometimes a big hook, uh, mainly, I don't know. Uh, You have a big bend in the hook and what happens is you put the pressure on, you push the soft bait down, we'll go over that later on in the episode, and you don't have to put a lot of uh, fast strength or a fast uh, hook set to get the fish in. Okay, so what uh, rod did you bring w- uh, today? I have my Omen, 13 fishing Omen rod. Okay, mm. so this is your main Carolina rig. Yes. Yeah, of course, we will not be able can to. We, can we see the action, action on camera? Oh, yeah, I can try to bend it. Yes, don't there bend we go. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, otherwise I'll break it. That would be nice. As you can see, it's a pretty soft rod. Okay. But it has some backbone. Okay. When you hook into a 50, you'll get it. Okay, you want to see my rod? Yes, please show me your rod. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boat rod, of course. It's a, a Hearty Rice um, Valley Hunter. It's uh, very light. It's only, I think, 10 grams. Uh, if you check the action, don't Can I? Don't break it. Break it. Uh, oh, it's nice. maybe a bit faster than yours. Yes. Mm, less parabolic, but no, it works as well. Uh, I like to fish with a reel, but normally this would not be our prime choice for Carolina f- rig fishing. But maybe. okay, from the boat, it's, it's quite fun. doable. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a high budget toy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Good. Uh, the reel. What reel would you recommend? Um, a two, two, 2500 reel uh, and a fast reel. High gear, why do, do I like a high gear? Because when I move my Carolina rig, I don't move, move it by reeling, I move it with my, uh, my tip of my rod. I do tuck, tuck, like this. And when I want to uh, wind my uh, line, I just do like this. I wind it and I bring my rod closer to, my, uh, to the water again. Okay, so it's not the action on the wheel, but it's more the no, action on the I tip that's important. It's in my in my uh, in my wrist. wrist. Okay, so we can also check the chat. We have uh, Jeffrey Verhagen, of course, who cannot be here. Yeah, I can only see the chat myself. Hi, and Christian is also present. Hi, Christian. He's organizer of the Lure Masters tournament. Oh, Christian. Hi. So um, very cool. All right. So we had the rod, the reel. Um, what type of line would you mainly use? I think yours has fluorocarbon. 
I yes. like more the braided. Uh, I have the braid here because I, d I have the, the ah. leader in the... Ah, it's very long leader. Ah, okay, like <laughs> sorry. It's very long. Yes, okay, okay. I know. So also braid line. Uh, yes, I always use a very light braided line. Uh, Dean Anderson, is that? Um, wow. Like Around 10 hundreds, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 10 hundreds are braided line. one millimeters. To uh, fluorocarbon 40... Uh, I can see it over here. 0.4 millimeters at the, the first end of the Carolina rig where your uh, bullet weight is. And then the part where your uh, your lure is, your soft bait. I always go to 28. Okay, well let's let's check the rig in detail a bit later. Yes, I'll show you. <laughs> well, let's do it uh, later on. And maybe I've, I'll, no, we can do it right now. I'll just uh, switch to the top cam like this. There we go. Okay, so your rig. Something most people won't do, I think, is uh, I always start with 60 centimeters of uh, 40 millimeter fluorocarbon straight to a fast edge clip. Then I go to uh, I go to a swivel. Okay. And the then I start my Carolina rig. Let's put uh, the rig on the table and we can, with the chalk, show so that what is that's on there. just mainly because I can switch my whole entire rig in seconds. Okay. Let's say I'm fishing uh, 14 grams and I'm not getting contact, big waves, wind. And I want to switch to 17 gram. I have that ready in the boat. And I just use my fast edge clip and I just okay. switch over to the... Just leave thing. the rig like this. This is fast edge. Fast Plus edge. Yes. Then we go over to our stopper. Okay, stopper. This protects your knot from the bullet weight uh, slamming into it and breaking it. Okay. Then we have our bullet. It's a it's a solid weight uh, tungsten bullet weight. We always use tungsten because it's more sensitive. And then of course we have the beads. Okay. We Just a glass beads. Yeah, glass beads. And I uh, yeah I don't know why, but I always used to. Yeah, that's a bit your signature. That's my uh, my thing. <laughs> I just like it. Glass beads. Okay, well how long would you tell this? Say this rig is around 60, 70 centimeters. Yeah, I keep it that way. I like mm. it that way. It doesn't. And this is a. This is the part that goes over. Zero point four millimeters, right? Yes, 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 yes. For the muscles. To For protect from the muscles. muscles. So we don't snap our line. Okay. Hey, don't move it. Oh fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we have the business end, the part where the uh, the soft braid goes on. Okay. So, so how long would you say this is? I would say 60, 70. Also 60, 70. And uh, what the kind of? 28. 28. Okay. And then the hook. Yeah, an offset hook. Like a... Uh, White gap. A white gap. You have a thousand variations of this. Yes. All right. Great. Great. That is a bit the rig in detail. So um, what I can do is also mix in a small movie again. Uh, it's uh, what I had on the World Predator Cup. It can save your day if you fish in Carolina. You can see me here fishing uh, actually on a very rocky terrain. And there Ooh, I had the big perch. <laughs> actually thought it was a zambit, so I, I kind of <laughs> freaked out. Oh shit, I need this big, oh, big nice. perch. And I was fuck very happy. Nice. I think it was 43 or something. Nice. 
Yeah, on the tournament, this is uh, yeah, that's a good competition. very nice. You can see the, the blood on my sleeve. That was, uh, I had a pike before, Just don't mind. <laughs> and it ripped open my entire hand. And then now I have a bandage on my thumb as well. I don't know if I show the perch in, in the camera. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah, I was very happy. Okay. And, and the, the bandage <laughs> on the tongue. <laughs> okay, let's go to the back main camera again. Good. All right, so we had the rig. Uh, then, I think it's the most important, the business end, let's say, mm -hmm. of, the, of the rig is your soft bait. Your so, soft bait. we have a lot of soft baits here. Um, maybe I can switch to the top camera again. And we can explain a bit about the uh, soft baits. Uh, I have put my uh, switch to the top cam. I have my favorite soft bait here, and Dieter, you took as well some of yours. Yes. Um, okay, let's start with yours. We'll start with mine. Here I have the 13 Fishing Ninja Craw. It's uh, a wide profile, a heavy kicking action craw. Uh, as you can see, it's about seven and a half centimeters uh, and it has these little appendages on the sides. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, yes or no? No. No, I think the camera focus is uh, not on the... I have this one, I, I like uh, really much, a lot. When I don't want my the, the kicking action, when, when let's say the fish are pretty uh, lethargic and they don't like moving, I like to slowly drag uh, the wobble craw. The wobble craw is a bit thinner, the same length, but it has very little uh, action. When you, you give little twitches on the raw tip, it goes like a, a, a real life fleeing craw. Like, yeah. like we find in Holland as yeah, well. Yeah, when you see in yeah. Holland. The size is, looks quite big, but it's, it's quite, quite okay. big. I know it's quite, it's quite big, but it seems to work. Also, I see some guys uh, reacting on the chat, so that's very cool. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, Christophe, I know you are flicking, flicking, or ficking, sorry. Um, so, hi. Uh, Robin, I saw you as well. <laughs> so don't ask, don't hesitate to ask questions. We also have Obi the dog in the, in the shop, let's say. So sometimes <laughs> <laughs> he will make some noises. Okay, let's uh, check my uh, uh, lures briefly. Uh, I think the most common one for Carolina rig fishing is the crazy flapper from KTEC. It's, uh, yeah, this is of course color June bug, very known, very well known. Oh, <coughs> they smell a lot, Sorry. of course. Um, so, yeah, I really like those. It has a, yeah, the, the flapping action. Uh, and then the squid sand. And the quids, squid sand, yeah, indeed. Then the baby destroyer, also very known, a bit bigger. Uh, okay, open it. Obi rules, someone says. Matthias. <laughs> Hi, Matthias. <laughs> so, the baby destroyer. Also very well known. Uh, especially a lot of guys use them uh, for Carolina rig fishing. And then one of my favorites is the, the Crawfather. Uh, it's a bit stiffer on the, the body, let's say, but also have, a, have some very nice paddles. Um, voila. So, that's the soft baits. Let's uh, go back to the main cam again. And Dieter, I want to know from you, what is uh, your choice of color? We had some different soft colors bait. here. Soft bait colors. Soft bait colors, of course. Uh, I mainly fish in very clear water for perch. And uh, I like to mimic the, the forage. What I, I just go for nat natural colors. Uh, I don't go pink, uh, bright green, chartreuse. Uh, what I do, I do select on bright and dark days, like cloudy days. On a cloudy day, I will use a very dark to the core bait, like uh, it's, it doesn't shine through, it's not translucent. And I'll usually go for brown, black, blue. Uh, on a very sunny day, I always go for uh, the glitter, the, the little... Uh, how do you say makeup stuff? The, the ah, glitter. Gl <laughs> glitter is a perfectly English word. Like yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Actually, Christian uh, he asked a question and he asked if there is there a no noticeable difference between floating and sinking uh, lures. 
Actually, we all had sinking lures here, no, but of course, Z-Man is uh, mainly floating lures. Yeah. So, what would you recommend there? I don't think we use a lot of floating lures for Car Carolina. Rig never, fishing. I never use them. Yeah. As well, the I think the the um, the, the leader yeah. is 60 centimeters long. So, with the floating lure, I don't know if it would be in the let's say in the striking zone. We, we fish the Carolina rig to reach fish that are on the bottom and I don't want my baits to be 60 or 70 centimeters from the bottom. Okay. That's not how it... Uh, Jeffrey also had remarked for the crazy flopper, always rip the legs, otherwise they have zero action. That's All true. Right. And another question is, do you mainly use crawls or also use worms? Personally, I, I always use crawls. Uh, I think I only use worms for drop shot fishing, but for Car Carolina rig, I mainly use craws. What me, do you do? Me too. I always uh, use craw, the craw uh, creature baits or creature baits, and uh, for yeah, worms. No, I just go for the net rig when I fish a worm. It's the most effective way uh, for me. Okay, I, I would say. Okay, great. Um, what would you say the size of the soft lure? Is that important? Like now in winter, people tend to fish a bit bigger. And some are smaller. Is it also the same thing we notice in the Carolina rig fishing? Uh, yeah, but I would say closer to the spawn, I, I fish a, a bit bigger. And earlier in the winter season, I always go for the 2.8 or 3.5 inch. Uh, that's too big. 3 inch uh, soft bait. Okay. Because w later on in the season, maybe the the feeding window in my opinion the feeding window gets uh smaller for perch i'm talking uh, for perch fishing only the feeding window gets smaller and you have that that moment the bite is really hot in the morning and the bite is hot in the evening and when you present uh sometimes it, I, i'm saying it's it's not always that uh, that way uh, for me it was uh, like that a few times you have the big bait and they tend to to smash it really hard, and they really take it uh, take it in very aggressively. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Also, someone asks, what is your favorite rod to fish the Carolina rig? Actually, we talked about this uh, earlier on. Uh, for Dieter, this is uh, your news black. Omen. 30 fish oh, the sorry, omen. sorry, omen. it's uh, another thirty fishing omen rod, uh, two meters fo uh, forty. Yeah. Yeah. What gram? It's uh, up to twenty one grams. Seven to twenty one. Seven to twenty gram. Uh, my favorite rod is the Hearty Rise Valley Hunter, but this is for boat fishing, uh, two to ten grams. A very, I fish very lightly on the Carolina rig, um, but if I would fish from the shore, it would be this one. I took it from the shop. It's not my personal rod here, um, but this is the Hearty Rise Innovation. Uh, it's around, I think, two meters thirty or something as well. Forty-five, I think. Yeah, I don't know this one, but uh, all right. Yeah, right. for for this shore, I would definitely recommend this rod. So, if you have some more questions, please do not hesitate to ask them. I will try to uh, take them in between the session, let's say. Um, but firstly, what will we do now is we we'll go for a, a little break. Um, I have prepared a small video of our last fishing fishing session where we did a lot of different techniques, but Carolina rig fishing was one of them. Also net rig fishing, but this will be another episode. Okay, so are you ready for the break? Here it goes.
hello we're back again so i was just checking the computer okay so you love the measuring board indeed christian this is uh, the lure masters le uh, measuring board um the question i saw in the brick was from matthias who said that even with 40 uh, one of a millimeter he also breaks his line sometimes what would you say would you recommend then fishing with 0 0.60 or some other option i would recommend the max of and what i personally sometimes do is uh, 45. i don't go heavier and what i also do when I, I make 10 casts and i check the entire rig you will always get damaged from the muscles uh, and there's no there's no other way sometimes you have to rig uh, retie the whole new the, the rig so and would you recommend maybe fishing less heavy I don't know, you, uh, you, this is uh, here on your rig, it's 14 gram or 17 gram from the boat? What is this it? is a 14 gram. 14 gram. Maybe you can fish a bit lighter, then maybe you will don't get stuck that much on the muscles. That could be an idea. That could be an idea. I like to uh, keep contact with my bait and if I need uh, 14 grams, I will always use the, the 14 grams. I won't go lighter. What you maybe uh, could do is fish your uh, your rod with the tip higher up yeah i understand uh, when when shore fishing i always had the same problem uh, the muscles they really damage the fluorocarbon really badly but when you fish from boat like we've been doing for the last i don't know month you don't have that problem because you always fish from a bit different angle on the muscles you don't get damaged that much okay all right, great. Um, so what we also will do every episode is do a small, let's say a small um, break from the main topic. So this is Carolina fishing. But now I ask uh, Dieter to bring me a lure or bring with us a lure that something is a bit strange or different, but that he likes to fish a lot. So voila, what did you bring? I uh, brought the, uh, the Rapala jigging shadow wrap it's a new ice jig an ice jig it's an ice jig yeah this is belgium Holland. yeah i know i know but i like it for uh, vertical fishing okay and this uh, particular bait has wings so what 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 i do I don't, i'm just gonna explain to you guys what i do let it reach bottom i, I pull it up and then i give a few twitches and what it does it 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 floats it glides it moves water because of the the wing it has on the single hood in the back uh, on the single hook on the back side of the lure okay so it's kind of like a, a tube it's pretty much uh, uh, yeah you could you could say it's a, a hard bait tube okay it's a cool thing it looks funny it looks weird and it's something different to try and it's it's a lot of fun and what do you catch mostly with it Xander Zander? Yeah. Always oh, Zander. <laughs> okay. Fun. On deeper water or? Uh, yeah, um, you could, but. With how much gram is this? This is uh, 17 grams. 17 grams. So, okay. So. Yeah. It's good. And it's very, uh, uh, how do you say, hydrodynamic because yeah. it cuts really good in the water. So you can get away with a smaller bait. Okay, good. Now we have some people coming in the Customers. shop. This is also possible, of course. It's not uh, forbidden, I know. Um, but because of uh, this cool lure that uh, Dieter brought we also do a giveaway so we have this lure in the shop and i will do activate the giveaway like this and it should be visible on the chat real soon yeah there it goes so if you want to participate in a giveaway you just have to say oh, well, like a lot of you guys saw it already so <laughs> exclamation mark giveaway and you are competing for the giveaway we will give it away how much will i say giveaway again but we, <laughs> we will announce the winner Donate. at the end <laughs> of the episode okay great so back to the carolina rig fishing um for me what was the biggest or the hardest part in carolina rig fishing is not uh convincing the fish to bite but it's the moment the fish bites not to slam the rod directly yeah but you have to wait <coughs> i've been training my whole life with jig fishing to once you get the the tuck on the, <laughs> yes. the rod you, set you the slam hook. it as hard as possible <laughs> yeah. 
and this is not possible with Carolina fi rig fishing, or you will lose the fish indefinitely. Why was why would that be? I would say ninety percent of the time you will lose a fish. Uh, why do we wait? We wait because a craw has these uh, appendages, the, the the claws, and it it hurts the perch when they attack it. So what does a perch do? Perch do the craw when when it, when it's uh, in danger. It will go in a defensive position with his claws up, and the perch will slam the the craw and numb it, like which is like almost half dead. Then it will uh, eat it entirely. So what happens? You get the tuk, it just slams it. You wait a few seconds. You don't don't do anything. You don't touch the rod. You don't all. touch <laughs> the rod at all. And then maybe. Uh, you you feel the 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 line moving or the whole rig the fish is on that's the case sometimes too uh, what will happen the perch uh, slams the craw again and then maybe you you get a, a runner uh, I would say a runner you could say a runner I could say a runner <laughs> <laughs> and then when you feel the the fish is on. I always count to three. When I when I feel the fish is on, it go one, two, three, and then I just lean into it okay. and hope you have the fish. You have the fish. What we did not explain actually in this episode is how you rig the hook onto the soft bait. Soft bait. So maybe we can uh, just go back to this one. I'll switch to the top camera again. Voila. You can use one of. Mine, I hope the hook is okay. The hook is not, I will get a, a good hook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good thing we are in the shop. Uh, and it's no more oily. Yeah, no. You want to explain or do I explain? You can explain. I don't know if the top camera is best uh, or is the front camera. Can we see the hook? Yeah, you can see it. Can you see the soft bait? You can see it's almost like uh, the, the same size. Yep. What we do is, I'm gonna try to show this the best way I can. Yeah, it's okay, like this. We go into the nose, hook down, thread it all the way through, and at this point, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. We turn the hook. We turn the hook. So now you'll see it's like this. Then I just like to align it with the soft bait and look where uh, I check where my hook point needs to come out and I put my thumb right over there. Then I, I uh, go through the soft bait and that's all there's to it. Okay, great. And this is perfectly rigged, even though I say it myself. Yeah, but <laughs> you forgot the legs. Yeah, I didn't. I, didn't <laughs> I don't know the soft bait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good. Uh, so we also get, I'll, I'll switch to the front camera again. <laughs> we also get the question, do you like the real or the fixed pool? I think we, we both agree that probably for fishing Carolina rig is fixed. easiest with the normal uh, yeah, the fixed, uh, the fixed pool. pool. Spinning yes, reel. Spinning reel. Um, I like to fish it with the casting reel, but from the boat I don't have to cast uh, oh, 50 meters or something, just 20, 30 meters and that's fine. Um, also another question is sometimes does the perch swallow the bait too deeply and how can you prevent this there's no way uh, no how can you prevent this sometimes they're really greedy or uh, very just hard hard biting uh, it happens yeah the only way we can w would cutting the, l the hook be better than trying to i'm just going to explain what i do when i have a, a very deep threaded fish uh, I push the hook through, I cut the hook point, and I just ah, okay. thread it again, uh, reversed oh, way. Oh, there's a fish. It's okay. the best thing for the fish. Uh, when the fish swims away, okay. that's the best thing for me. I have a thousand hooks, so I don't care about a, a broken hook. Okay, good, great. Um, ah, I also have a, a movie, a small movie about the hook set. <coughs> it might be interesting. Sorry. I'll go to this. So here we are fishing uh, in Holland. You can see actually the, the live scope as well. Um, 
and what uh, you cannot see obi is also with us on the boat uh, and there i have the fish okay but maybe you did not notice the hook set or the bite um, very well uh, if you check the live scope image you can see there are multiple perches uh, still waiting to be caught let's us go to the other view of this uh, this fish there it is the perch and it's not a bad one 45 centimeters plus okay so how does this look from the rod you can actually see the initial bite and then can beat can beat it there goes. yeah there's someone in a uh, text box in jeffy there's someone in text box in yeah um, okay, well. then here comes our shot Deeply, deep. The, the next fish you get a, a bite from, just don't wait as long. Set the hook uh, after two seconds, uh, another, uh, let's say, three or four seconds. It's just better for the fish. Okay. You'll maybe lose one, but. So we'd say that you can learn from uh, yeah, it's all in how the, the way they take in the, at the moment, yeah. Okay, so here we are fishing again, um, same spot actually, same day. Um, Jeffrey is using uh, a twitch bait, which you will see on the live scope. There it is. And I am using the Carolina rig um, to get to the school of perches. And actually the Carolina rig show to be the most successful. You can see the, the perch around let's say four meters away i actually okay. announced it to jeffrey jeffrey i'm gonna get a bite because <laughs> i had the initial take i said i'm gonna get a bite okay let's see from the rod again no, we no, we do one. No, we still have a for Obi. Obi is also again standing in the way no, she's staying deep before you know last fish and you can see the initial can beat it. And then i put my, uh, my thumb out of the <laughs> textbook we are much further Dat is een woord. En kan je er niet in net, ja. Dat is een snoepboos. 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 Dat is with a different size of Carolina, of the chlorocarbon um, uh, leader, let's say. You had the bullet, the double glass beads for the your signature uh, rig, uh, the swivel, and then we have the hook. So uh, we talk about soft baits, uh, the way you have to wait when you get the take, um, the way you rig the soft bait on the hook. That's about it, I guess. That's about it. If you ask, <laughs> no snook bars. No, it was not a snook bars. Uh, Christian, it was a perch. <laughs> uh, sometimes you can catch uh, snook bars, of course, with uh, the Carolina rig or pike as well. Yes, uh, yes. Actually, no, everything takes the Carolina rig. If you have some more questions, you can ask him. Um, would you have some more tips, Dieter, for the viewers? Would I have some more tips? Uh, don't be scared to use the Carolina rig in summer. Just use a, a shorter leader because they're more active in uh, in summer uh, what could I say what could I say don't go fishing too light make sure you always feel the bite and feel the bottom you're fishing because this is a, a very dangerous rig for the fish I think if they swallow the hook uh, things could go very uh, wrong with the fish so uh, always fish heavy enough so you can ha you have contact and you feel the fish okay so one of the questions is um, how big do you would you recommend the baits so what I have here is 4.25 inch you also have this one this is smaller the baby destroyer is 5 inch I guess so would be bigger we also fish with the normal of the regular uh, destroyer uh, I don't know if I still have these in my inventory ah oh, here it is you have it this is 
giant. Seven? Yeah, seven it's inch. very big, but... We use it as well. Yeah, it's, 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 it's good work. Um, well, so don't be afraid to go. This is as big as I use. So. Yeah, big. Um, one, uh, one last hint or tip I can give you. You can check it in this movie. Uh, Links on the left. Here you <laughs> see uh, <laughs> <laughs> the three guys on the boat. Um, that is Hovan who over the grens had, eh? No, 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 the first box. You let the thing out. I mean, it was also attached to the perch in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Jeffy yeah. is the one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Christoph, who has the blue vest, oh, there it is. Jeffy has also a perch. And what is the big thing here, if you look at the live scope, is that if one person in the boat catches a fish, don't stop fishing because, as you can see on the live scope, I think there are around 10 big perches following the perch that Jeffrey is uh, drilling. So keep on fishing. Uh, keep on fishing for uh, the moment that they start biting. That's <laughs> the biggest I can give you. Uh, mostly when we uh, go back to the camera, when we fish, I think, and I have a, a perch, I, I say to the other guys, keep on fishing because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the perch will follow. I think they also, s uh, sometimes they throw up when they are being drilled and then the other guys are trying to catch what is yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the one that's what being drilled. <laughs> <is through. laughs> so we have a bit of strange that's behavior, how yeah, but okay. I actually had that uh, while uh, fishing lure masters with my friend uh, Louis. He was uh, pulling in a fish and we could see on live scope there were a bunch of fish following and I just threw my bait out uh, trying to posi p position where he the fishes were and I caught another 40 plus yeah directly. just like that yeah it's great. That's, really, <laughs> that's really nice okay so before we end the giveaway I would ha say does any one of you have some more questions you can ask them now shoot I don't. I think we were very thorough <laughs> because there are not a lot of questions. Uh, Christian is saying uh, you have you fish seven inch for perch. The respect. Okay, yeah. we don't always fish seven. We inch don't base. always. Sometimes we do. But, but the baby destroyer, I think, is used a lot, and this is five inch. Yeah. There is a moment for mm. the bigger. Bait. What is the best month for the year for the Carolina rig? I think huh. it's right now. <laughs> well, or or we had maybe more in the winter time when it's even colder? Uh, depends. We we already had crazy days right now. But when you really want the, the, the fattest fish, the with the big bellies, I, I go later on in the season. Okay. Uh, actually, what I didn't talk about is that you recently caught your PB, your personal best. Yes, yes, so yes. 53. Yes. I think I have some pictures here. Uh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, but I, I kind of <laughs> forgot to, to add the microphone on the picture, so this won't work, but okay, no, no worries. Uh, Jeffrey asks if you have, if you would um, choose one color, what would you choose? <laughs> I know Jeffrey uh, personally, and he already knows my answer, so. <laughs> I think I it's electric June bug, right? <laughs> June bug. Yeah, June bug, yeah. June bug. Bluish color. Yeah, okay, cool. Great. <laughs> Um, okay, so it's very clear, says Christoph. Great, okay, so then we will check out who wins the bait of the day. And then I will close the entries and I will choose a winner. And Matthias is the winner. <laughs> Congrats. Great. <laughs> have fun with it. <laughs> I will send you the, the lure. I think I have your address still, so I will send you the lure. Okay, right, so nice. we can stop here the episode. I think it was... Very interesting. Thank you for coming, uh, Dieter. Next, no uh, I hope we will be here again next week. Next week, we'll talk about um, Garmin, fi Garmin Fish Finders and the Active Captain um, application, uh, the different series of Garmin, the different uh, ways of mapping, and how can you or how can you improve your fishing with the Active Captain app. Um, voilà. So, that's going to be interesting. You next week, next week, I hope it will be. With Jeffrey, but not that I don't like you, but Jeffrey is in the hospital right now. So then Jeffrey will be normally back. Okay, guys. Jeffrey, get better soon. Yeah, guys. See you. Thanks bye for bye, watching. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>